huge congratulations off and running here at the World Grand Prix. Just sum up how you're feeling after that for us. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm feeling good, obviously. I think I haven't played too too bad. I mean, I, I, I was good and um, I was getting off from the first wheel. It's very good. And, um, but I still need to be too, too honest about it that uh, Brandon was uh, also not playing very poorly. He was, he was playing good. And if he is uh, going to win that second set, um, then it's a um, completely open game then. Did you come here with a different expectation on yourself this year because of the great year that you've had? Um, well, I have to say, um, I'm in, in, hopefully you don't get me wrong. I mean, if you, com if you compare Brent Dolan as a, as a draw to Luke Humphreys or Michael Van Gerwen, it's obviously an, an easier part. Don't get me wrong, Brent is he's no. still tough to beat, but um, the other ones are a different task, definitely. And... Um, so I thought, like, well, first round is you. You can do that. You you, you really can do that. But uh, second round is going to be a uh, cross or littler. So it's not an easy task there. But to be honest, I think I have the game. I think I have the 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 chance to beat them. And I have to do the same thing as I did today. You know, um, with the first visit, need to get off the legs like tops or double eighteen, and then yeah, the leg goes gone. And if I uh, like complete my scoring, I think I have a chance. Winning the two Euro Tours this year, has it changed your outlook on your game? And now do you believe that you are up there with the very best in the world? Yeah, obviously it does. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not the person who is forgetting who, where he's coming from. So um, right now I, I need to say that um, when I'm always talking about the big guns, probably I'm one of the big guns right now because winning one European is maybe a good, maybe, maybe a good day, but winning two of them this is this is quality and don't get me wrong i don't want to sound arrogant or something but i'm very proud of myself to have to have done that and uh yeah and the stuff i'm remembering on both both of these moments it still brings me up to tears a little bit well, congratulations cheers thank you martin you've had a fantastic year on the euro tour do you feel ready to take that next step now and really challenge for these these major titles yeah totally i mean uh, if i if i compare it like two years ago of never really thought about winning one uh, or maybe just winning a pro tour or a European tour and uh, yeah this year I've won two uh, last year I reached the, the, the quarters here at the Grand Prix and maybe this year I can go to maybe um, the quarters again or maybe even further but but this depends you know it's 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 not like you can really say or you can guarantee the result but I think I have the game I think I have the possibility to beat anybody but you have to you have to show it and it matters you're now comfortably the German number one. Does that bring about any extra pressure? Do you feel that at all, or do you feel just comfortable? Well, to be honest, not really, because I think it's about the whole order of merit, not because of Germany's number one or second. Um, I think I've, I've known that uh, for many people it's important, but I just think, you know, uh, Gabriel is a good mate of mine. And it's not about comparing, you know, who's doing this better or this better, or who's, who's uh, uh, worse in this or that. For me, it's about getting getting results, getting money, maybe maybe do something for my future, for the future of my, my child, for the future of my wife, you know, if you, and this is the most important thing, like, I, I enjoy the game, I have passion for the game, I still want to go up there and, and win the games, and this is the most important thing, I don't, I don't care about Germany's number one or two, if I'm going to be number one in the world, we can talk again. And on the main order of merit, is the top 16 something that's very much in your sights between now and the end of the season? Yeah, obviously. I mean, if, if I'm going to have good major results, then I'm going to be in the top 16. But um, easier saying than to do it, actually. But obviously, it's in my side. Maybe I think the top 10 is not so far off right now. And, well, how about that, Martin Schindler, the top 10 of the world? Okay, cheers, Martin. Cheers, thank you. Martin, what do you put down the improvement in the last year or two? What do you put it down to? What, where has that come from, do you think? Of Honestly, I think uh, where the most improvement came from was just experience, learning. Just learning, um, not the way of playing that. It was more about learning how to deal with situations, especially if you're winning or if you're losing. And I think this uh, was getting me through a lot because um, when, I, when I won my first one at Risa, I know I was already in the semifinals before and I wanted to do one better in the final. And when you're in the final, there's, there's just some point where you're saying, like, um, I can do it now. You know, it's just shy of eight legs, which is, which is going so fast, it, it goes in a blink. And um, 
these two titles this year have really realized for myself that I have the quality. I, I really have the game to to compete with Michael Van Gerven, Gerven Price, Luke Humphreys, Luke Littler, it doesn't matter who. Um, but it, in the end, you, <clears throat> how to say, you just need something to be really sure of that you are able to do it because if you're only saying it all the time, it's one part and you have to do that as well. But on the other hand, it's something if you get the results as well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> do you think there's expectation on players like yourself Gabriel to have these results and to sort of elevate German darts even further and you're looking towards things like winning majors, getting in Premier League, stuff like that. Well, uh, getting into Premier League is, w is one thing now. Um, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to stop you there, but um, yeah, uh, uh, nearly the same thing as I said before. I think, I think not only me, I think Gabriel as well and maybe Ricardo, he, uh, like the three of us, we, uh, we, we all have the game to like have a big run in majors and maybe to win them at all but um, it's a question of momentum it's a question of um, mm, 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 mm. I don't know the English word for that <laughs> it doesn't matter I think I think we we all having the ability um, to, to do that but uh, yeah you, we cannot guarantee that we are going to win obviously we we try our best we're looking forward to every game and um, same as I did today I know I have a good chance I know I've have the game to beat Brandon and uh, yeah in the end I have to say I was a bit lucky that he didn't get through the second set but yeah lucky uh, I'm happy to win one. Thank you. Cheers. Martin it was only a few years ago that you lost your tour card did you feel then that you could come back win titles and then compete in these big events? To be honest no I haven't so was that no I haven't I, I think at, uh, at a point in my life I was I was I was sure of the fact that I'm going or that I can be a professional so that I can have a that I can earn a living out of darts, but when I lost my toolkit, I was not thinking like in, in one year you're going to win two euros in a year. N never thought that. It was it was a long way. It was a fighting way. And I cannot describe it in words. It was an emotional way as well because if I really thought in, in the year 2023, so last year, I thought like, well, maybe a title would have been nice. I was sure of the fact that I'm going to win one in the place championships. <laughs> but yeah, here, here we are talking to the Grand Prix, winning uh, two Europeans. <laughs> yeah. And you mentioned that next match is Luke Littler or Rob Cross. One's got a lot of experience in this tournament, and the other one is his debut in this format. Have you got any preference on who you'd rather face there? Well, you can answer that question, to be honest. Would you say that somebody of them is, <laughs> is an advance to take? I wouldn't say so. I've, I think both are really great players. Luke is, uh, I mean, he won the World Series of that just shy of two or three weeks ago so he is, he's on form as well Rob was I think is one of the best players this year as well so um, I need to be at my very best to beat both of them and if I'm not going to do so then I'm going to lose them one as well is that almost the hardest possible route in the second round you've got either, you've got one of the best players in the world Premier League champion in Luke Littler or the number four seed I think it doesn't matter because they're both playing really good this year. You know, I, I think if you look it up in the in the in the year to date um, ranking, I think they're both very much up there. And I mean, um, one of them has been to World Finals winning the Premier League, which is which is Luke. The other one has been Rob, who's who's very consistent when he's going up on stage. And also, um, he was very good on on the Euros and uh, World Series as well. So you cannot really say that there's a favor to say which I'm going to play against. Uh, both have been really great this year, but I think I think if I do nearly the same as I did today with a little bit of improvement of my score, then I have a chance. Martin, thank you. Martin. Thank you.